In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the reduce function. So we are going to understand what the reduce function is, when do we use it, and how do we use it. So let's explore first what the reduce function is all about. When you look at the GOX, it takes three mandatory value arguments, initial value, the array, and the lambda. Lambda is a user-defined function. You can use the lambda to define what you're going to do as we shall be. And in our case here, the way the lamb this lambda works or the reduce function works, I want to add these figures. It will go, go through, starts with an initial value of 0, then says 0 plus 11, you get 11. So 11 becomes the total. Then the next value, 20, is be our current value, which we have here. So we shall have the previous total we got from 0 plus 11 as 11, then plus 20. We add it here, so which comes to 31. Now the total of these two, with the 31, we add on 12. So it will go on and on until it completes the array that you have given it. That is how the reduce function does work. We're going to be looking at numerical values where we see get the sum or we get some greater than a certain value or we get uh, only the sum of odd numbers or a sum of values between two figures. And also we shall look at how we can explore it using text. The numerical values in another example, we shall see how we can use text to do the reduce function. So let's start off in simple ways. Our first argument is the initial value, then the range, I'm gonna lock this, comma, then the lambda, the type lambda. So the first argument of the lambda is the accumulator, which I abbreviate with that. Then the current value, then what I want to do when I accumulate and current value. So what I want to do is sum. So it will be the accumulated value plus the current value. And I will explain what the accumulated value is. So it will start from zero plus 11. The first time it runs, it will, the accumulated value will be zero. The current value will be 11. Then it will be zero plus 11 we get 11, then the next time it runs, it will be that 11 becomes the accumulated value. So plus the current value now will be 20. So the current value will go row by row until it reaches this. And when it reaches down, we shall have got the total. And when I do this, I close that one there. I think I'm going Yes, what happens is I need to type this one as lambda, I'll type in the wrong way. So when you do that, current value plus accumulator, you get the total. So we get our total as two to four. So when we get the sum, well, prove that we are right, get the sum of that, we get two to four. So in simple terms, this is how we use the reduce function and reduce it. We are reducing this into a single value which is the sum. Let's look at a case where we can use greater than. For example, I can say sum for me values that are greater than maybe 30 or whichever value you choose. So we shall just say reduce the initial value. We are starting with zero as a, then the array, which is this one here. Then the lambda, okay. The initial value, the, the accumulate value, then the current value, uh, and then what we want to do with these two values. So in our case, we want the accumulated value, we add it to 
Now we're going to, because we want values above 30, we're going to use a logical test to get those values. So we can say uh, where the current value uh, is greater than 30. If that is true, return the current value. And if it falls, return a zero. So whatever you add to zero will remain the same. So it will loop through this list. When it finds a value greater than 30, it accumulates it. When it finds a value less than 30, it will take a zero. This is what this one does. Close this bracket. Close the lambda and close the reduce. So when I do that, I get 134. So we can check whether our value is, we want to add values greater than 30. This one is greater than 30. Then we look for another one. This is greater than 30, comma. This is greater than 30. Then we get 34. You can use it in the way you like to use it. Uh, you can see the flexibility that is applied here. So let's look at another case where I say, I want to get the sum of values of odd numbers, odd numbers. You can do even, we can do odd. So we say reduce again. Our initial value is zero. Our range of values is that. Comma lambda, like so. Our accumulator, then our current value. Now what the next, Argument is a function of what we want to do. Want to, what we want to do, we get the whatever has been accumulated and we add on odd numbers. So we need to do a logical test as it runs through this list to identify the odd numbers. So we have if uh, there is a function in Google Sheet called odd, which returns true if a number is odd and we return false if the number is not odd. So we do a logical test and say is odd. The value is odd, it will return true. And if it is true, we want to return the current value such that we accumulate it. And if false, we want a zero. So we close our if function, we close our lambda function, and we close our reduce function. When we press enter, we get 112 as the odd numbers. So let's check here. What are the odd numbers? 11 is an odd number. Come here, I think 31 is an odd number. 17 is an odd number and 50. So when we do that, you can see we get the same result. So you can imagine if you have a very long list of numbers and someone told you, give me the sum of odd numbers where reduce function comes in handy. Okay, now the next example, we want to find values between two values. For example, I can say, get me the sum between 20, where the value, the current value is greater than 20 and less than 30. So between 20 and 30, as you observe, we have only one value. So let's do the reduce function again. We start with an accumulator, zero. Our range is the same. Function F4, lambda, then accumulator, then current value. Then what we're gonna do with it, what we want to do. We want to get the sum of values between 20 and, let's say 20 and 50. So we need, and here you have to start with the accumulator plus, if you do it the other way, it will not work, the current value. So to get the value between, I'm gonna use an AND function where I check the current value is greater than maybe 30, comma, and then also re current value is less than uh, 50. And if this condition is true, it means the number is between 30 and 50. 
excluding the third day and excluding the fifth day. If that is true, we use, we return the current value. And if it is false, we return a zero. I close the if function, I close the lambda function, I close the reduce function, and I get a one. So you see that the number between 20 and between 30 and 50 is only one value, which is 31. If I change this to 32, we're gonna observe that my total here is gonna change. So if I say 32, so I'll have these two values, which add up to 63, which I get here. So this is how you can play around with the lambda, with the reduce function and the lambda to do what you want. Now I've been using numerical values. You may say, how can we use it on text? That one is also possible. Uh, in my previous video, I talked about the substitute function. So assuming I want to uh, change this into bio and chem, whatever there is the biology, I want bio, wherever there is chemistry, I want chem. So I can reduce, use this reduce function to achieve the same, where the initial value I'm going to use this one. The range will be this. And then I put my lambda, lambda. I have an accumulator. I have my current value and I define what I'm gonna do. Because I want to change biology to bio, I need to use the substitute function as we saw in our first video, a previous video, you can use substitute. Uh, the first argument it takes is the range, which is this, I'm gonna lock it because I'm gonna copy it down to uh, what am I going to search for? I'm going to search for logic. And when I find logic, I want to return an empty space. So whatever there is logic, I put an empty space so that I remain with only bio. Okay. Then I think I close that function. So the result of this, I also need to apply it on the chemistry. So to do that, I need to enclose another substitute function here. Substitute, if it's not clear, please watch on my previous video. So this will be my range. Then comma, uh, what am I searching for? Now finish searching for biology. I'm going to search for, for I, S T R Y. This is from the chemistry, the last uh, four, five letters of chemistry. And I replace them with a, an empty space. I close the substitute. I close the lambda. I close the reduce. And press enter and hit OK. So you'll see that in one step, I'm able to change this. Remember in my earlier video, I was doing it in but here I can reduce only the reduce function to accomplish this task. Hope this has been helpful. Please subscribe, give me comments. And if you've liked the video, please don't forget to like and see you in the next video. And don't forget to have a great day. Mm -hmm.